Hello travelers out there, I hope you've all had a lovely week and I've all had a lovely Friday. Today in this video I'm just going to tell you guys about what got you on the last day of my week. So today I had work placement and I got ready for the day ahead and I had a nice refreshing shower and that had me up and I had some toast and a cup of tea and got myself ready for work placement. My younger sister and brother were at college and my older brother is in uni and my dad and older sister were at work. My mum got up and she dropped me off to work placement and I got to work placement and got signed and put my bag and stuff away in the staff room and I then spent the first part of the morning watering the flowers and plants and then sweeping up and then I had to move a load of stuff off one table to another and it was one table was at the opposite end of the garden so I decided to get a trolley and get all the stuff to there. And then I just started sorting that out when the voiceover came on and it was for me to go off down to the till for me to do some till training and it went really well. I was with one of my colleagues called Amanda and she is so lovely and so she taught me how to use the tills. I was a little bit nervous but the staff were all really lovely and supportive and helped me a lot and so were the customers. He let me take my time learning how to use a till and stuff and I served about 10 or 11 people today and it went really well. I then had my lunch break and I went off to the staff room and I had my lunch and I called home and told my mum about how my dad had been and how I'd been on the till and just so just had a muffin that had like pink icing on and some little jelly sweets on which was delicious and I'd taken some flower snaps while on my break and treated a bit and chatted to my colleagues and my colleagues and I had a big discussion about what your favourite cakes were and my mate Bonnie who was in my year at school I went to six one with works in the restaurant so I saw her so we had a nice catch up I told her how it was my brother and sister's birthday tomorrow so she was we were having a massive chat about how our family and stuff were doing and had a nice catch up. I then went out back into the garden centre to do some more till work and it went really well and I did some more serving on the till and some stocking up of the shelves and some sweeping up and then it was the end of my shift and I was done for the day. I then got picked up by my mum and I got some money to get a present for my young sister for her birthday tomorrow. My dad, on the way back from work this evening, he's going to go off to Spotswood and get some for me to give to my younger brother because I'm not quite sure what he likes. I know my younger sister more. My younger brother and sister are twins but everyone used to think when I was younger that me and my younger sister were twins because we're so close. And I got home and we wrapped up the present and I wrote a little message on there for my young sister and my grandma Barbara was over for the day so she was out in the garden enjoying the sunshine throwing the tennis ball for my dog house and my dog house is getting so out of breath because he'd been out there running up and down around the garden like I had a stick and he was panting so much too. he was like a train going past so he then led down in the shade and my dad took my grandma back home on the way back to work and my mum and myself watched So Yesterday Dress and a bit of TV and I was just going to the country and had a cup to snack and my younger brother is back now for being at college and he's very excited about his birthday tomorrow going to be 19, I can't believe it, making me feel old and he's going out for a meal with his mates and then they're coming back here to have a sleepover and then tomorrow night my younger sister's mates are coming over to stay and tomorrow me and my older sister and my younger sister and my brothers are going out for a meal at Hawk's house for breakfast and then going off to the rugby in the afternoon. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And I've still got to watch last Saturday's Spring's Got Talent, so I'll probably watch that with this week's Spring's Got Talent at this week. Because I haven't had the time, I've just been here, there and everywhere. It's just been, just been nuts. I'm loving college, I'm loving workplace, and it's just been so much fun. I ended up falling asleep on a sofa, which is naughty of me. I didn't want to do that because then I woke sleep tonight and I woke up from the noise of my younger brother bashing and crashing around getting ready to go out to his mail and I went onto my Facebook Twitter and Instagram I loaded some Instagram photos that I 
taking one on my break or some nice flowers and stuff. Really want to join a photography club because I really love photography. And at the moment, I'm just out here enjoying the sunshine and the smile, the glorious smiles of a barbecue happening next door. Oh God, it smells delicious. I really want a barbecue at the moment. Hopefully, we'll be having a barbecue tomorrow. Can't wait. My auntie and uncle and my cousin are coming over. My cousin is two now. He's nearly three, and he's so tall. He gets a little bit nervous. He's at that age where he's a bit nervous at first, and then once he's got used to us, he goes nuts and goes to his normal crazy two-year-old self. But it's because we don't really see them. They live close now. They used to live in London, but they live where we live now, but they live in the, the middle of where we live, and we live on the outskirts. So sometimes it's a bit hard to get to them. And of course, they're busy with him being in nursery and them working all the time. But it's good when we get to meet them, and they, and we need to try and meet up a bit more. Help them move into their new house, and I can't wait to go there and see how it all looks all finished. And my younger sister was at college, and I think she's out with her mates at the moment, because she's getting excited about her birthday, as well as my younger brother, because they, they're both really excited. And I played with my main doll and watched the new Shadow Hunter and Riverdale episode last night. And oh my gosh, the black kid is back. And Riverdale is just so good. I'm so glad that Archie and his dad have made up. Hopefully Archie doesn't work with Hyam anymore because he is such a butt munch. And I'm glad that everyone's mended their broken relationships. I think that it might be Chuck that's the black kid or something like that. Because I, did, I thought they killed him, so I'm not sure who the new black kid is. But I knew that that would be the last we heard of him, but I just love it. And I watched some episodes of Will and Grace, and some episodes of Season 1 of Supernatural. And I looked at some Dolls and Dolls stuff off eBay, Amazon Swift, and watched some Dolls Tour stuff. And looked at some Doll Tour videos, and looked at some Doll photography stuff off Instagram. And I've gained a load of new Instagram followers and Twitter followers. I don't care about the following anymore, I'm just living my life treating and Instagramming as much as I can and yeah, not fuss anymore and I watched some of my favorite YouTube video vloggers and gamers and watched some vlogs and read some blogs and read some fanfic and watched some fanfic stuff and watched some multi fandom stuff and I watched some classic Doctor episodes and it was seven years ago today that Elizabeth Sladen who played Sir Jane Smith passed away so sad, she was one of my favourite companions and I absolutely adored her in Sarah Jane Adventures. I was so happy when they gave her a spin-off of her own. Love it, and I'm probably going to go watch a few episodes of that tonight. And I watched some period drama stuff like Test of Sensibility, Teletubby, Final Post and some other stuff like that. And watched some episodes of The Bill, CSI, Midsummer Murders, Miss Marple and Firebrand and some other murder mystery stuff and some crime investigation stuff. I watched some Disney Princess films and some Disney Nickelodeon, Boomerang and cartoon YouTube films and some cartoon and manga and anime stuff. I watched the stuff off a call, BBC Player and Catch Up and I watched Ever After and looked at some Ever After Hype, Barbie, Bratz, My Scene, Put Doll, Cindy and Monster High and Bratzilla and other doll line stuff. And I watched some doll drama and game stuff that people have created, like My Foggy stuff. Sam Mackey and Beauty Inside the Box and some other doll YouTuber channels and we've got the bunnies out at the moment in there, one in the garden and I got my Beauty Dolls out ready for me to sort out tomorrow and worked on the new chapter to my book and it's going really well. Whitest block, stay back. I hate it when I get whitest block so I normally go off on a massive walk and get some nature photos and normally just jot down some ideas in my book and that really helps and I worked on some new songs played on my keyboard a bit, love a bit of music and just a bit of Shania Train, love a bit of country music and I've listened to Kylie's song Story for Falling over and over again I love the new video that they filmed in Cuba and Kylie looks like the real life version of the dancing emoji because the dancing emoji has blonde hair and a red long like flamingo kind of dress and she's got that on in the video and she looks stunning I absolutely love it and it's such a good video also listen to Arno Grande's new song Count for the Life of Me what, no, Count for the Life of Me remember what it's called it's called something like No Tears Cried or something like that but I love it she's now got like white blonde hair and she, it, she looks amazing and I absolutely love it it's such a good song and I listened to a bit of Anya and watched some episodes of Friends, Big Brother Theory, Hammer and Mother, Will and Grace, 
and Golden Girls and some other comedy stuff. Laughter is the best medicine after all. And I watched some Scoop Doo DVDs. I watched some episodes of the Gem and the Holograms animated series. And it's some, some Gem and the Hologram doll stuff off of eBay, Amazon Smith. I really want to get some Gem and the Hologram dolls because they're so awesome. They're, the, they're like the inspo that I got for creating my pre dolls. I love their awesome fashion. And I just love the 80s and 90s Barbie and the like, Gem and the Holograms. I love their style and it's so cool. And I watched some classic children's show stuff like Bram and Balamoy and stuff like that reliving my childhood making myself feel old and yeah I just feel like a little big kid really a little big kid a big kid really and I was just flicking through like doing like little children's quizzes like of the 90s and stuff and yeah Bram I just remember going to a museum and sitting in the Bram and my grandpa like having to drag me out of it because you weren't supposed to sit in it but I was a rebellious child and I watched some episodes of Dot 2 and watched some classic Dot 2 episodes and I've always watched every episode now from start to finish apart from the ones that are missing I've watched every Dot 2's era and I absolutely loved it my favourite Doctor is probably John Pertwee the third Doctor or Tom Baker the fourth Doctor and I'm pretty impressed with the twelfth Doctor I really liked his take on the Doctor and the Seventh Doctor, but by then Doctor had kind of been heading towards the massive hiatus like it was. I'm so glad it, it came back in 2005 and I can't wait to see how J.D. Whittaker does as the 13th Doctor. So what, she's a female. It's a time world with two hearts. It can turn into a person with blue spots and a long beak for all I care. It's still be Doctor 2. But that'd be very interesting, wouldn't it? And yeah, I'm not off to go sort my main project out, do a bit of dog photography stuff, and then watch today's Home and Neighbours and have myself a snack and a cup of tea, and then go out and enjoy this lovely sunshine and hopefully go on a walk and get some nice nature snaps. I hope you've all had a lovely week so far. Have a lovely rest of your Friday and a lovely weekend, and I shall see you soon when we're coming soon. Bye.